children as I did with Jose and the rest of them over there, I could tell, even when they weren't listening to me, and even when they were guessing and all of that, their minds were thinking that they're all, give that table a hand, they're real smart over there. was to listen to the families, most of whom did not go to college, but what did they do to help their children succeed? And at the heart of it, at the heart of it was giving that boy a sense of self, to believe that he could do whatever, teaching him those values that would try to help protect him in a society that didn't necessarily expect him to be the best, and most important, trying to keep that child safe. If you've not read the most recent report that just came out in the last few days from the National Academy of Sciences on the expansion of incarceration since the 70s, you must get the summary. Just came out. I just left Washington there with, uh, right there at the White House, a group looking at this question of what are the policies that have made such a difference. And this is the most surprising finding of all, was that Many people don't realize that the crime rate is probably lower than it's been in decades. And yet we have the largest number of people in the world in prison. Yes. That it was amazing that we only have 5% of the American population, but 25% of all people in prison are in this country. Now here's the part that won't surprise you, but that is stunning. I keep thinking about it and saying, how dare we suggest that we are a model for others. It says this, that the policies that have been developed since the 70s in the name of stopping crime have led to large percentages of young people going to jail. And, and this is what it, the really heart of the matter, and this goes to, to this, this issue, this initiative of our president who has brought it to the forefront. And I want to give the president credit for giving this initiative the kind of attention, getting the foundation world and agencies to focus. Give President Obama a hand. For giving this. So, this is just one statistic. so for, for, for boys who drop out of high school, this is why keeping children in school is so important. For boys who drop out of high school, 20% of whites, 28% of Hispanics, 70% of black boys. 70% end up in prison. 70% if they drop out of high school. We should say to everybody in this room that supporting children and keeping them in school, giving them that sense of self, teaching them the importance of learning to read and to think and to do this math would be more critical than anything else.